Welcome back, chimps. Today, we've got a 2003 Ibanez Gem floral pattern. Look at the curtains on that. <laughs> Literally. Literally, look at the curtains. Yeah, the rumor, I don't know if it's a rumor or a fact. It's probably a fact. I think it's a fact that... uh. Steve Vai's mother's curtains were floral pattern, and so they literally put curtain fabric in that. It's pretty rad. Uh, guitar weighs 7 pounds, 12 ounces. Got a really, really thin neck. Of course, it's a shredder guitar. Oh, yeah. uh, 1.71 inches at the nut width. 0.75 inches at the first fret. That's the depth. 0.83 at the 12th fret depth. Uh, just to give you guys an idea, a... Uh, like a 1960s 335 Gibson, super paper thin neck. Uh, the first fret depth would be 0.83, and then it would go uh, to like a high, probably 0.89 maybe. This starts at 0.83, so I mean, we're talking thin. Uh, bridge pickup, middle pickup, original neck pickup. It's been replaced with the DiMarzio Air Norton. It's, at least they did it in pink though. I always hate it when they, when they replace one with like a black humbucker. And then we've got a rosewood fingerboard. It has the original case. Um, yeah, this thing's ready to rip, man. Yeah, and check out the inlays. Vine inlays, Hopefully yes. that translates well on camera because they pop like crazy. Yeah, they're very, uh, very green. bright green. Sweet. Well, let's, let's give her a listen, see how she sounds. Super, super easy to play. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, the, the action right now is, is set up pretty low, so it's super comfortable. If, if you are a shredder, man, this, this thing will definitely do it. So let's try some, do some dirty overdrive. Dirty. Gotta get out of here. Yeah. Unplug. The input jack is very interesting too because it yeah. plugs in that way, which honestly would be great yep. if more guitarists did that because nothing is worse than at a show step on your cable and pops out. Yeah. Yeah. Just thinking. But yeah, super, super chunky sound, easy to play. It's a great guitar, and it's really cool about the curtains. Yep. Right on, man. Very collectible, too. Yeah. All right, now that you've seen and heard Matt play this, let's go over the condition. I gave it an 8.5 out of 10. It's just got some light scratches and dings. Uh, currently, that neck pickup, if you get up close, uh, <laughs> whoever did the install, it's installed backwards. Uh, we have not flipped it over yet because the lead isn't long enough. So we are going to have the lead extended and we will have that flipped over. I don't know if we'll take new photos of it when we do that, but um, we definitely won't do a new video of it. So I'm just going to tell you that. Okay. Uh, light scratches. We can see the scratches on there. Yeah. A little bit of wear to that hardware, but I mean, that's pretty common for these. We've got, some, got a ding right there. I mean, overall, it looks pretty clean. Where's the fingerboard? Fingerboard looks good on this thing. Frets are perfect. 
We'll get up close on those frets. Nothing there. Front of the headstock looks good. We'll see if we can get up close in there. There's no uh, stress cracks. I checked them myself, but there's none. It's kind of hard to see them if they're all in black, but there's a, there's a good one. Okay, let's get this flipped over. Back of the headset looks good. There's your uh, serial number, F0328170. Main Japan, Fujian Factory, 2003. Okay, back of the headstock. We'll get up close. Looks great, no cracks. Sometimes you see these things and they'll have a little crack right there from tightening the, um, the nuts too hard. But uh, this one don't got that. Now let's go down the neck. There's your plate, serial number 263355 on the plate, made in Japan. Uh, that is, that's how they do these. The plate serial number does not match the top serial number. Uh, you, well, okay, if this was an older one, you would date it off of a plate, but because it's a newer one, we're gonna date it off of the, uh, the serial number on the, on the headstock. Okay. It's not new, new. It's just, uh, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's not 80s, 80s or 90s. And we're going through here. You just see light scratches. It is missing that back plate. Um, I don't have one, but if somebody really wanted to replace it, you, you could. They do sell them. Uh, I don't know if he's still selling stuff anymore, but if you go on Ibanez Rules, uh, I, I, I know that you can get, I believe the guy's name is Rich. If you tell him what you got, he'll he'll send you the right one. But he knows far more about these things than I do. Uh, literally down to knowing exactly what plate will work for what and weird stuff like that that I just would never know. So yeah, Rich, Ivan has rules. Uh, yeah, there you go. I mean, the back of this, it looks really good. I, it's just, it's missing the plate. You've got some tarnish on that, on that uh, neck plate. There you have it.